Hey, this is Ben Gilbert here with Engadget, and we have Christian from Firefox, Mozilla, and we are here with a an unbranded phone running Mozilla OS, Firefox OS, right? Yes. So uh, could you just give us a little walkthrough real quick? So this is a developer phone. This is not what's going to be in the market. This right. is not going to be the same thing. We just needed a phone that has the same specifications of the phones that are going to come out. Absolutely. So this here, what you're seeing here is an operating system running on a mobile device that has everything a normal uh, phone device has right now. This was you originally got your, the uh, Boot to Gecko OS, it right? It is still the Boot to Gecko system, which is called Firefox OS because it now has a layer on it and it's not only for the geeks. Understood. And this is all running on HTML5, right? Yes. Nothing you see here is not HTML5. So this is animations yeah. in CSS. This is JavaScript opening these things. The system itself is written in HTML. So if you want to write an application for this, all you have to do is write an HTML5 app. Which is good because you can reuse that on iPhone as well, you can reuse that on Android, you can reuse that on your desktop, you can reuse that wherever HTML runs and that's a lot of things. Sure. And you have the same things you have in other phones, you can make calls, you can send text messages, you can take photos. We've got uh, 3D transformations going on, so you've got 3D games if you wanted to as well. So this is just a demo right now that shows how that would perform on a phone like that. And we found that an Android phone with the same specifications is actually slightly slower. And so, so what are those minimum specifications, real quick? Uh, I'll, I'll, on top of my head, it's 800, 800 megahertz it has, and I think 256 mega RAM, but it can be looked up later. I can give you the, date, sure, the details. Sure. It, it changed a bit over time, and I'm just basically looking at the JavaScript and trying to make that work. You got your games. I'm offline right now here because the wireless actually gave up on us, which is a bit of an issue. But you got other things. You got your music. You got your video. You can play songs. This is a demo where you can actually have videos on a cube because everybody needs videos on a cube. But that's the kind of stuff we built to see how far we can actually hammer this phone before it gives up. Absolutely. And that's what developers do. And that's the really cool thing about it is that all of these things are HTML pages. So if I have an app right now that I wrote for uh, for any other HTML device, for example, uh, WebOS. Sure. I can reuse these things right now. And in the future, what we're going to have here as well is a way to actually search apps on the web. We're going to have a marketplace, much like any other platform, mm -hmm. but as is HTML apps, I could just put them on the web and then I find it on the web. So if you think about it, uh, if you think about it app markets are like the uh, Yahoo uh, directory. And then Google came around and made web search web wide. And with this one, we could make app search web wide as well without having to go through five different markets depending on what you want to do. And this is a totally open OS, right? It's completely open. It's, uh, you can download it. You can actually flash it on your phone for free. We have a few Android phones that are supported. You can build it for on the desktop. There's uh, simulators if you want to build it yourself and test it out in your browser. There's actually a Firefox extension to, to, to see what it looks like on your browser. That's available right now, right? Yeah, yeah. this is all available right now. And uh, we, if you want to be part of that, be happy. We're going to have a developer phone soon available as well that people can actually buy and try out. And the great thing is you have direct feedback. So if you have a problem with the operating system, you type it in here, it goes directly to one of our engineers that will deal with it. Okay. And uh, when are we going to see this and where are we going to see this OS? Well, the, the, the main market that our partners are targeting is South America right. for the reason that they, can't, they cannot afford normal smartphones at the moment. So we wanted to have a market where people cannot be online with their phone because they can't afford it and make a difference. So uh, Brazil is where we did most of our research. More South American markets will come in the future. And then we will see once we roll that out. We want to do step by step and not just like do it worldwide because that's a lot of job. And I think it's, it's interesting because we have a lot of research in these markets, what people want as well. And a phone like that that is affordable and can do the things that they do brings lots more people on the web. And Mozilla is all about keeping the web open and free. So we don't have any, any vested interest in making money with this. We just want to make sure that the web always wins. Okay. And so this is launching in 2013. Do we have any more specific time for that? Uh, I don't, and uh, I don't want to put my colleague in hot water, but to, uh, in this year it will come out. Understood. Thank you very much, Christian. You're welcome.